part of their lands being poisoned or stolen as capitalism keeps the western world rolling, rolling, rolling. With multinational companies keep fighting up the communities with brainwashing and bribery. Stories you won't read in the library cause white Australia's got a black history that never seen of sovereignty. I'd like to welcome our friend Dubán Velez. Bueno, lo primero, un fraternal saludo a todos los que están en este meeting el día de hoy. Firstly, I'd like to welcome everybody here, uh, yeah, comrades that have come here to demonstrate against BHP. El pueblo colombiano, los trabajadores, denunciamos a la BHP por todos los atropellos que cometen en contra del pueblo colombiano. The workers and the general population of Colombia have um, denounced BHP for all its atrocities in Colombia. La BHP en La Guajira, Colombia, un departamento de Colombia, La Guajira, ha desplazado a los indios Guayú, a los indígenas Guayú. In the northern part of um, Colombia, in the state of La Guajira, BHP, BHP has a mine up there, one of the largest in the world, where they've displaced all of the indigenous populations. Porque los indígenas están en un territorio donde se saca carbón, es la mina de carbón más grande a cielo abierto en América Latina. The reason why they've displaced all these people is because they're where the indigenous people have their land is where there's coal and BHP has the largest coal mine in Latin America in that area. Cuando los trabajadores en Colombia protestamos en contra de las transnacionales hay asesinatos de, de, de dirigentes sindicales, desplazamientos, torturas a todos los dirigentes sindicales por reclamarle a las transnacionales mejor mejor vida para nosotros. When the unions or the uh, workers complain about their rights and their benefits to the multinationals including BHP, they kill people. They use the force of the government and the paramilitaries to commit atrocities against the workers. Esta protesta que estamos haciendo el día de hoy en Colombia es reprimida brutalmente por los policías, por la fuerza militar. If a similar action like this in, happened in Colombia, the paramilitaries and also the police forces would be here with batons and with guns, bashing people, and um, we wouldn't be able to hold this type of demonstration in Colombia. Por eso es muy satisfactorio poder estar aquí al frente de la empresa, de la portería de la empresa, denunciando los atropellos que cometen contra nuestro pueblo colombiano. That's why he's happy to be here at the head office of this company, because in Colombia he could not, he would not be able to do it. And also, he hasn't mentioned this, but Duban in um, Colombia has to have two escorts every day with him, and he also carries a firearm for his own protection. Eh, muchas gracias. Espero que nos apoyen. También tenemos una campaña mundial contra la Coca-Cola, porque Coca-Cola mata. Coca-Cola ha asesinado a trabajadores en Colombia. And we'd like to thank everybody for their support and also to uh, remind everybody that the unions in um, Latin America, in Colombia, also have a campaign against Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola kills. They use paramilitaries to support their companies over there. So thank you very much for speaking, for coming to support. Thank you. Thank for the opportunity to speak again outside this company's headquarters and it's really important today from Carlton to Chelsea to Columbia people are taking action about BHP Billiton. The security guys here when you file your report can you say that this company is undermining environmental security, is undermining community security, is undermining planetary security and is threatening people and places around the globe. 
We have a particular responsibility in this city and in this country because, like we've just heard, people in many countries directly affected by BHP Billiton's operations cannot take action. Or if they do, they risk Murders! enormous danger, enormous threat. They risk disappearance and death. And that is a some greedy exaggeration. That is the tragic reality of resource corporations on planet Earth in the 21st century. In countries that do not have robust civil society, in countries that do not have free trade unions, in countries that do not have an independent media, people taking action and saying no to companies like BHP Billiton bear the very direct brunt the very real threat of damage or death. And that means that we in Australia, where we don't face the same level of intimidation, have an extra responsibility to witness, to speak up, and to say to companies like BHP Billiton, to say to men like Marius Coppers, that you cannot profit from making others poor. We have a responsibility in Australia to expect that this company does not damage lives or planet in the pursuit of its profit, and it currently does. Marius, stop it. Don Argus, stop it. BHP, stop it. You do not have a social licence to do what you are doing. You don't have it in Colombia, and nor do you have it at Olympic Dam in South Australia where you are digging up uranium, sucking dry the Great Artesian Basin, risking the health, not just of the workers, but of every stage down that fuel cycle of that toxic mineral. You do not have your social licence in Western Australia, where you are leading the vanguard for new uranium mining at Galeri. That will be contested, that will be challenged, that will be fought every step of the way. It's not acceptable that people's lives, that people's environment, that people's places are fundamentally, fatally damaged so that a resource company can increase its profit. We know that we need minerals. We also know that we don't have to trash the planet in order to access them or process them or use them. It is not acceptable. It is no longer acceptable. And we have a particular responsibility in this country because we can. Over here we've got the coppers. Doing their job. Hoping it all goes quietly. Peaceful. They'll have their spray. It's a democracy and then they'll go home and I'll do the next job. Over here we have the security guys. All well and good. Stay on the footpath. Don't go in the foyer. We understand the rules in Australia. They're good rules. They're okay. We live with that. I can talk and go home and shut the door tonight and this gentleman or these gentlemen are not going to kick it open. Other people in other countries where BHP works do not have that right. They do not have that privilege. They do not have that sense of security. They stand up and say, please don't destroy our river. They disappear. They stand up and say, hey, please, don't push us off marginal farmland. They disappear. That is the reality of it. Doesn't happen all the time. Doesn't happen every time but it happens regularly. And we in this country have a responsibility to stand up effectively, powerfully, collaboratively and creatively and at all times talk truth to power and to say to BHP and others that you do not have a social license, you do not speak for me, your behaviour is not acceptable, we do not accept it, we will not tolerate it, we will work, act and demand better for people, for the planet. That message is being sent here again today. It's being sent in London today. It's being sent in Colombia every day. It's being sent in Brisbane next month. Thanks so much to Friends of the Earth for organising this and the opportunity to again speak truth to power, put this place on the map, 
and to say to the many people who work for BHP Billiton, who are not bad people, who are not the horned beast, they are people doing a job, but to say to them that that job has a high and an unacceptable cost. Show you can, cause we can make a difference everywhere when the hammer comes down. We do jurisdiction to the white laws, full of restriction. The water out here, runs down street. Yeah.